In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to take a color board and put it in motion. Now obviously to do that we have to make it smaller than the size of the entire screen and we have an exercise on how to redesign a color board to occupy only part of a screen for titles. We'll do that but we're going to add a motion factor in this particular video. So what I want to do, I'm going to take this picture of flowers. I'll stretch it out a little bit. And what I want to do is add a color board, but I want to put it in motion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image and then I'm going to put a color board on track number two. So I uh, click on my media content. I click on my down arrow and I pick a color board. I'm, I'll pick one. Let's pick this. Um, let's pick this not quite bright yellow here. I'll drag that down into track number two. And now I have this uh, on track two. But again, we have a color board that's larger than what I want. So I'm going to, with it highlighted, press the F2 key. That will get me into my uh, uh, PIP designer. And then I'm going to turn off the maintain aspect ratio under the scale. Uh, that's essential in order to do what we want. The other thing I want to do is I want to change the opacity temporarily down from 100%. So I'll, I want to see what else is on the screen. So I'm going to put it maybe at uh, yeah, somewhere in the 30s for now. Then I'm going to take my color board and I will drag it to my the bottom of my frame and where I have my safe zone and I'll take it and put it here and we're going to use this for a movable title but I want to move it onto the screen so I'm going to take it and hold the mouse over it until I get the four arrows and drag it off to the right of the screen then I'm going to go ahead and put its opacity back to 100 percent so it's a solid yellow now we're going to use the feature in PowerDirector where we are, are dealing with our keyframes. So with the playhead on the very left side, I'm going to click on position, click on the yellow diamond, and I add a keyframe at this point. And then the thing you have to remember before you make any adjustments, you move the keyframe to where you want the adjustments to be. I'll move over maybe this far for now. We can change it later. Now I'm going to take the, the uh, keyframe, the uh, color board, and drag it onto the screen. Well, I don't need to go all the way across, but we'll make sure we're in our safe zone, at least from right to left. And now it automatically added a keyframe at that point in time. All I need to do now is move the playhead back to the beginning. I'll hit the play key, and that quickly it brought the color board onto the screen. Now if I want to change the time it takes to come on the screen, all I need to do is uh, get out of my play by clicking on the, the pause button here, the stop button, and then I can take this and move it. If I move it right, it will take slightly longer to get onto the screen. It will slow it down. If I move it to the left, it will speed it up. So right now we're at less than a second. We're at 12 frames. Um, let's go like maybe 15 frames that's that might be that's quick uh, it, it's almost instant but not exactly well that works so now with that done I'll click on OK and now I have my color board give adding motion to this now what I want to do at this point in time I'm going to go ahead and play this till I get to the place where the uh, the color board is all the way across the screen. I'm using my right and, and left uh, greater than less than keys here. And right there, right at 16 frames. <clears throat> now I want to, at this point in time, add some text. So I'm going to go over here to my title room. I have some text that I worked on earlier called Harmony Floral. I'll drag that down. I could put it into the text area or I could put it down um, 
farther uh, farther up any track so long as we're above track number two. Now I have this text called Harmony Floral. I'll double click on it or press the F2 key. And we're going to take this and we're going to move this down into our, on top of our color bar. And again, I don't want it to be at the beginning. Uh, I want it to be uh, at the point where the bar has already been extended. So it will pop up immediately. And I can change how that appears. Uh, for example, if I want to add a, an effect, I'll take a starting effect. And let's do just a, a, f a simple fade here. And we'll shorten the time of the fade by taking uh, this item here and making maybe we'll have it fade in over the course of a second. I'll click on OK. And now if I go back to the beginning of the project, I hit my play button and it fades in just like that. Okay, and then we could add another title bar if we wanted to. Uh, let me go back on to my, off my custom into all my content. I'll take a default color bar, put it on track four. Press F2 to edit it. And we'll move it down here. Let's say we want to change the color. It'll have to be a darker color, obviously. Um, we'll click on this one for now. We'll change the font. Um, we'll pick something kind of at random here. Oh, that's too heavy. Uh, let's do this one here. And then we'll make it a little bit smaller. Let's go to this size here. And then we could say <clears throat> Control A and we could say uh, uh, flowers for every need. And there we go. I, I think I'll put a, put a, a bit of a um, shadow on that. We'll use a uh, shadow. We'll change the distance just a little, but maybe about one. You can use the up and down arrow here too if you want to. We'll use a one and click on OK. Ooh, that didn't turn out the way I hoped it would. Well, we won't change it for now. You get the point. So what all we need to do now is make sure that our color bar is long enough. So I'm going to stretch this out and we'll stretch this out to this length and uh, we'll cut this one down to the same length. And we'll put this here the same way. And I gotta make this shorter. Okay. So this is all it took in order to produce this kind of effect. And so if we go ahead and start at the beginning of the clip and hit the, have to be all the way to the beginning here. And we hit the space bar to play it. Harmony floral and then flowers for every need. That's a very nice way to add a little bit of motion only using color bars. We haven't used any external graphics in our presentation. Uh, just things that we can do within uh, CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.